Hey everybody, we are doing a, a an interesting topic video and I'm not gonna lie, I've barely even looked over these questions, so this is gonna be probably one of the most off-the-cuff videos I've done, but I'm ready for it because this is a great question. The question is pick one film where you get to keep the main actor but the rest of the actors in the cast are replaced by Muppets. So here we go. Favorite question, mine too. <laughs> Citizen Kane, especially when they bring all the girls out at his party and the reporters arguing over his last words. It screams to be Muppeted. Blue Velvet would be pretty kinky as well with Miss Piggy standing in for Isabella Rossellini, Aronofsky's mother, would be interesting as well having a house full of destructive Muppets. Okay, that's a that's a lot to um, to cover there, but um. Yeah, Citizen Kane would be amazing, I think, because uh, Orson Welles has a lot of humor in his work, and he's very, like, over-the-top and theatrical. And a lot of times, his, the performances in his movies are very cartoony, and I think a lot of people would, would agree with that. So actually, I think the Muppets would be kind of awesome in, in a really kind of strange way, bring out the satire in his work. And the same with, like, a David Lynch movie. I think that David Lynch would love to work with the Muppets. That's messed up though. I don't want to think about Miss Piggy as Isabella Rossellini. I'd rather think about her in like the Laura Dern part, but I know this is more fun. I'm just thinking of like a Muppet playing Frank where he says things like daddy wants to fuck and while he's inhaling helium. That's something I probably wouldn't forget. Also the classic line, my favorite, Heineken, fuck that shit, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Every time I see somebody with a Heineken, I have to yell that out loud. I mean, it's just a requirement. Aronofsky's mother, yeah, that would also be interesting because again, as I've said, I think that Darren Aronofsky is a lot funnier of a director than people give him credit for. He has a real kind of wild, campy, sort of B quality to his movies that do border on, on farce. And I think Mother definitely had a lot of that. So yes, the Muppets would be wonderful. You know, Jennifer Lawrence is just in a nightmare the entire time, you know, like all these people are going crazy around her. So yeah, you know, this. This is a great idea. The passion of Joan of Arc. What the hell is wrong with you people? That's fucked up, even for me. Boogie Nights and keep Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I want to see a lot of Muppets like downward spiraling on cocaine and alcohol and, and toxic sex. Yeah, and I do want to see Mark, Wahlbar Mark Wahlberg um, fucking a, a, a Muppet. I do like Boogie Nights. I think it's a, a fun film. I prefer it to something like Magnolia, which has that similar, similar kind of Altman-esque Martin Scorsese quality for early Paul Thomas Anderson, but um, it did leave something to be desired for me. A lot of the aesthetic and everything is really exciting, but I always felt like a lot of the um, ensemble work and a lot of that kind of stuff was a little bit thin, so maybe the Muppets would add a whole nother layer of um, symbolism to that. Gaspar Noe's love for obvious reasons. Oh yeah, totally obvious. I was thinking the same thing. No, uh, I, actually, if, if I was going to do a, a Gaspar Noe film, I would think like Climax. Um, just because I, I just think it's funny. I'm just picturing Muppets like, you know, setting each other on fire and, and incest and uh, yeah, just a giant Muppet orgy at the end where everyone is tripping their balls off. It's an image that since I've thought of it, I, I can't get out of my mind, but Gaspar Noe's love. So I saw that film and I, I really, really hated it. I reviewed it not so long ago, but yeah, you know, it's not a movie really about love. It's about lust, but it's also meandering and not in like an interesting sort of soporific psychedelic sort of way that I'm used to in a way where I felt completely removed from it. And so if anything, this movie needed some interesting interactions. It needed some interesting um, characters or character motivations. And uh, that's where the Muppets come in. The Muppets have more complexity and more personality than the main character does in like one fingernail. So there's that. Also the characters, particularly in this movie, but most Noe movies are, are so stupid and so insufferable. Oh, I want Kermit the Frog to be, you know, having these existential crises where he's examining his feelings and his attachments to uh, certain people in a lustful sort of way. Who wouldn't want to see that? Sunset Boulevard. See, now we're talking. This, this That's good. Miss Piggy as Norma Desmond, oh, it's fabulous, would be almost absolutely perfect. And the dark comedic tone would fit the Muppet characters like a glove. Yes, it would. Uh, well, maybe not like a glove, but in a certain light, I think you could. Billy Wilder does, you know, like the Coen brothers, but of course in a very different way, um, you know, has that black comedy, that darkness. And um, 
Sunset Boulevard is a movie I actually, I've been wanting to get back to it for a while. I'd love to review it. I think it would be kind of fun because it is a lot darker than I ever thought it was going to be. And just the idea of like this, this, this queen, this like, this woman who's just so delusional about her past fame. That's perfect for Miss Piggy. And I genuinely think like in a black and white sort of setting, this would be very haunting. Certain aspects of it would be very, very haunting because the film is, but also the sense of humor is intact. So, okay. The Twilight series might be bearable with Bella choosing between Muppet boyfriends and with the Muppets tearing each other's heads off. If I had to choose a specific entry to Muppetize, I would pick Breaking Dawn one so we could have a CGI Muppet baby and Edward Muppet beach scene. I was thinking the exact same thing. I have only seen one Twilight movie and it was Breaking Dawn part one and it was fabulous. I loved it. I was so high and I laughed so hard that I started crying. Instantly when you said Twilight series, I was like, no, just Breaking Dawn because that whole movie and like the honeymoon period and how she gets pregnant, it's it's really kind of fucked up, but it's it's hilarious. But if we replaced it with Muppets, it would feel much more like authentic and realistic. It would probably be much darker. And that is the irony there. That's what's funny. The Shining, just keep Jack. Now the man in the dog suit will have some context. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Um, but Jack Nicholson practically is a Muppet. I feel like he'd work really well on an episode of Sesame Street or something like that because he's crazy. And his performance is so verging on just complete farce and like, as I always say, like full on kabuki type theater in this movie, but that's part of what works about it. Like I always say, people always talk about The Shining being terrifying. And I mean, it is, it's, it's very haunting in a lot of ways, but it's also hilarious. There's a lot of humor in it. And I think, you know, Stanley Kubrick has even kind of talked about that to an extent. So yeah, you know, the Muppets would be wonderful. I want, I want Shelley Duvall, you know, like as Miss Piggy. I want to see images of the Muppets losing their goddamn minds, you know, getting twisted and twisting and intercutting that with like the images of, of like the river of blood and the twins. 2001 A Space Odyssey. Keep HAL 9000 and replace everyone else with Muppets, including the apes. It would certainly give rise to a very surreal quality as if it isn't already. And Kermit inside the bubble looking down at Earth in the final shot would be transcendent. <sighs> wow. Holy shit. Yeah. Originally I was going to say everyone should be a Muppet except for uh, Dave. But yeah, no, I think if Hal were the only one, man. That would be interesting. Two picks, Kill Bill, Keep the Bride. The crazy 88 scene alone sounds like a good time. The action will be even greater than before and I think the Muppets will fit perfectly well with the style. Yeah, totally, because Kill Bill's not that good. And the fighting is terrible in it, especially in the crazy 88 sequence. The, the sequence and the way it's designed is really cool, but the actual fighting sucks. I get really annoyed when I see bad fight sequences and yeah, that was just inexcusable, so yes, the Muppets would make it way, way better. I'm not even joking. I would rather watch that movie with Muppets, especially that particular sequence. And um, your, your second choice here is Goodfellas. Keep Ray Liotta, three words, Muppet Joe Pesci. That's all I want. Yeah, I mean, that's instantly where my mind went as well. And um, yeah, they, they do get a little crazy, especially in the end when they're all coked up. So uh, that would be wonderful. A lot of Scorsese movies would be wonderful with Muppets. I want to see James Cagney as a Muppet. That's all I'm saying. House Sue, I, I guess is how you say it. I'm not sure, but the English translation is House, the, the 1970s uh, horror comedy, horridy. Keep Kung Fu. My explanation is simply the banana scene as a Muppet. Do I need to explain further? That will instantly cure sadness. That is all. Love your vids, Maggie. Thank you. Uh, that movie is already so crazy. I mean, it is just pure insanity. Like the visuals and everything just, I mean, it, it's a full on acid trip peak. And, uh, you know, it does have that quality of kind of weird um, special effects and, and, and bad special effects, but it's like intentional. It has like a feeling of a weird storybook, a weird kind of dreamlike surrealism. And um, yeah, the characters are so cartoony and crazy that this is another example where really, if you replaced it with Muppets, there wouldn't be, I don't think there would be that much of a difference. A really cool movie though. I reviewed it for Halloween and I, I highly recommend it if you like 
really kind of uh, twisted but unique kinds of movies that are really visual. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. He's already in a psych ward. And I actually think the Muppets would, would work, possibly, even complement the tone of the movie. I agree, because I think, uh, yeah, like I said, Jack Nicholson just works with Muppets uh, because he's crazy. And somehow I feel like his craziness would uh, counteract the Muppets, like they would seem like the normal ones, which would be very funny. Um, but yeah, in that movie, there is kind of an endearing quality to it. There is a comical quality to that movie at times, for sure, and a, a real kind of sentiment. And um, I actually think that would be adorable. It would be kind of haunting as well, but adorable to see a bunch of little Muppets in a psych ward and they're all getting along together. I'm not a fan of that film really, but I do like the idea of seeing a bunch of Muppets being inspired by this, this crazy person to kind of take ownership of their lives and their identity. I do love the idea of the ending though. I always have to that particular movie, just the idea of your, your protagonist um, trying to uh, make a difference and failing and then uh, somebody else gets the chance to thrive and I wanna see, I wanna see the Muppets thrive and run through the field at the very end. That's beautiful. That's my video though. That was a fabulous question. I really enjoy the creative questions there. So thank you so much. And thank you for answering the questions. Those were some hilarious answers, you guys. All of my Patreon supporters are over here. Thank you guys again so much for your generosity. If you like art and you like supporting artists, especially the starving artists like myself, I uh, do commission portraits and I sell prints of my work on deepfocuslens.com. That's my website. The link is below for that. If you want to check it out, if you're interested, you can always email me as well and we can talk about it. I've been working with fans on it the past few months and it's been really fun to get to know a lot of you. But other than that, all of my social media is below that and you can watch more videos here and you can subscribe if you want to. Catch you next time.